You know, in our culture, in this day and age, we hear a lot of talk about being here now. Athletes are always talking about being present in their moment, especially during playoff runs and things along those lines. They even have coaches come in to help them actually prepare their minds psychologically to really zero in on the present moment. And psychologists call this entering into flow states. Flow states are powerful. CEOs and athletes and uh, high performers all over the world are using these flow states, learning how to enter flow states to perform at higher levels. And yet I want to tell you right now that the only way to truly be present is to let go of the concept of being present. You see, one can only be present when the concept of present has been let go of. Because the concept will keep you imprisoned. On a day-to-day -day basis, I talk to so many individuals about this very thing, about being present. People that don't know that I'm a teacher will often uh, talk, yeah, man, I'm just being present, bro, sort of thing. And while we use these words, these terms to communicate with one another and the world around us, to have these beautiful in-depth conversations, to relevate, revelate with one another, it's, it's just powerful, it's fun, it's beautiful. And yet, this is what the most important, this might be the most important thing you will hear about being present or how to become more present. This might be the most important thing you've ever heard. The concept of the present moment will keep you imprisoned in the past. Ah. You see, it's of no use. The concept is of no use to the present one. The present one is just here. The present one can talk about being present, but this idea, it doesn't become an idea in the sense of, yeah, I am present or I am not present, because the truth of the matter is that you are always present. You can only be here now. You can't be anywhere else. You can try as hard as you might to be somewhere else, but you can't. You're here now, manifesting in this body. Now, you are also, mind you, manifesting everywhere. And so you can have out-of-body experiences and you can, um, in a tra very transcendent way, be pervaded. You are being pervaded throughout the universe, throughout the cosmos. This is powerful, this is beautiful. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about being present. And you are here now. The bottom line is you are. However, it's only psychologically that we're not here now. It's only in our mind that we're not here now. And it's only in our mind that we think in terms of being here now. In other words, in order to embrace the concept of being present, you must also embrace the concept of non-present or of attachment. Attachment is the exact opposite of being present. Wherever there's an attachment, I guarantee you will find someone who is not present in their moment. Because attachment is a past. I'm carrying the past into this moment. You are mine, talking about a person. This is mine, talking about a thing. Um, I've done this, like some sort of credential, like look at what I've done, bringing that into this moment. All of these are past experiences that again, can be talked about and shared with. We can reminisce, we can enjoy those things without attachment. But when our minds, psychologically speaking, we're living in a linear time, um, we're living under linear time, then our mind connects and attaches to those things. And as a result, we're bringing them into this moment. In other words, our present moment, still present, is the manifestation of past memories. It's just the manifestation of all these memories coming into this moment. <laughs> See, in order to truly embrace the the... The, the present moment, it must transcend the concept. 
And I'm gonna give you a little secret. The number one way, the easiest way to let go of the concept of present and really just be present is to stop thinking of yourself. What? <laughs> See, to think of yourself is to miss the present. It's to miss the present one. <laughs> to miss the present is to be in thought. When our mind is just thinking, we get stuck in linear in linear time. Psychological time. I'm not talking about calendar time. I'm talking about psychological time. We feel as if we are the one manifesting in time. And so like today is November something, Saturday. I feel like I am this one on this Saturday or Sunday or whatever day it is coming to you and talking to you at this time, but it's really not me at a certain time. That's just how you're translating it. At calendar time, yes, but psychologically, no. You can train your mind to just be here, to not think ahead. And some of the best ways to do that is through breathing, learning just to breathe through. When your mind starts to go somewhere, come back to the breath. When the mind starts to go to the next task, the next thing on my list to do, that, that next thing, just come back to the breath. I was talking to somebody recently who said, yeah, you know, they were practicing the five second technique, um, which is, um, you know, just counting down from five to one and then going back to your task that you're in. And that, that is, they can, they can help you psychologically for sure enter the present. But the present moment that I'm talking about is so much deeper, it transcends the psychological. It's not just in your mind. This present moment is not existing in your mind. This present moment is all that is real. It is a present manifestation, period. Whether that's of your past, or whether that is just a brand new moment that is unfolding from an eternal perspective, it is here now, and it is now gone, and it is here and gone, and here and gone. It is 100% of the time always here, and 100% of the time never here. And as a result of that, you can't grab a hold of it. You can't, your mind can't capture it. It can't wrap itself, if you will, around it. It's not a concept. It transcends the conceptual. And when we stop thinking so much, and we just come here, just come back to here. This is all that's real. This moment is perfect, and it's all that's real. And that doesn't matter whether you're hanging on a cross, whether you're in prison, whether you're mowing your lawn or doing some sort of hideous, what most people would consider a hideous or awful job. I'm here. And this is the greatest moment of your life. I was talking to a, uh, a customer, I uh, started a business a handful of years ago. And uh, just, just for fun, just uh, artistic expression, I was talking to a customer, I was installing some toilets full of, for him. And um, this customer said, uh, Silas, uh, what's your, what do you specialize in? I said, eh, I don't really specialize in anything. I do a lot, I basically do a lot. This, this company does a whole lot of different things. And he says, well, what's your favorite thing to do? <clears throat> and I said, I would say my favorite thing to do is the thing that I'm presently doing. So in this case, my favorite thing to do is installing toilets. Now, from a linear perspective, if I were talking to you, I probably would not, if we were having some sort of conversation, I would not say, oh, it's my favorite thing to do to install toilets, if we were just kind of randomly speaking about what my favorite thing to do is. But truly in this moment, when you transcend the present, your favorite thing is always your favorite thing. It's always the present thing. It's always the thing that is here. The question isn't, are you present? We're always here. The question is, is your mind here? Is your mind truly here? Is your mind and body here together? Or is your mind run off into some, somewhere else? And is your body somewhere else? So I just wanna encourage you, whenever you feel that your mind is running off, mindfully bring your mind back. <laughs> Breathe, connect your mind and body. Open your eyes, your ears, your touch, your, sense, your senses, your sensuality. And 
be here. As I listen to the leaves gently fall from the trees and land on the, on the ground beneath it. It's a powerful, powerful moment. The greatest moment of my life it wasn't when my, my kids were born or when I got married or it wasn't my awakening moments. The greatest moment of my life is right now. The greatest awakening moment is right now. The greatest moment, my most pleasurable moment is right now. It's perfect and it can be that way for you too if you have questions or comments please feel free to drop them below share this with your friends and family if you think it'll be any, uh, of, of any sort of help to them any sort of impact to them dude you guys are incredible I fucking love you guys so much thanks for watching hope you have a tremendous day and remember the more you awaken the more you play <laughs>